Hello, welcome to today's broadcast. God bless you. I'm reading from the book of Luke chapter 4 and verse number 1 and verse number 2 in King James Version. And Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being 40 days tempted of the devil. And in those days, he did eat nothing. And when they were ended, he afterward hunger. Hallelujah. Now, we are going to be seeing there is power in fasting apart from prayers. Do what you need to do when you're fasting is to pray. But fasting that accompany prayers make tremendous power available. Jesus was full of the Holy Spirit, don't forget. But the Bible didn't say power came out of him. He was full of the Holy Holy Ghost. But what happened for the Holy Ghost to find expression? The Bible said he went and embarked on 40 day fasting and did not eat anything. Look at the result of that 40 day fasting in verse number 14. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit. First, it was full of the Holy Ghost. Second, it's now the power of the full Holy Ghost in him into Galilee. And there went out his fame. The fame of him throughout the region right about. What the virtue of God, the fame, the glory of God, which is the fame of God, will never come out has said the power of God find an expression in you. And the power of God will never find an expression until you embark on being spiritually minded. That's what I call it. Fasting. Giving yourself to three days, one day, four days, five days, as the Spirit will lead you to do. The more fasting you do, the more powerful you become. Fasting increases spiritual power, makes spiritual energy available. Here, if Jesus needed to fast, I'd like to say that, then, for the power of God to find expression in his ministry, then you need to fast. You need to stay out of food, stay out of um, places and just give, lock up yourself in God's presence. Fasting and Jesus returned. You will be surprised when you embark and engage such medium of activating the power of God inside of you. You will return to the power of the Spirit, which is what all of us are trusting God for. I'd like you to see why fasting is important. Isaiah chapter number 58, verse number 6. Is not this the fast that I have chosen? What? To lose the band of wickedness. It takes power to lose the wicked people around. That's what fasting is chosen for. Number two, to undo the heavy bodies. Things that are burdensome upon your life, to get them undo, you have to embark on fasting and to let your prayers go free. So fasting is a time to gain power to break oppression of of all kinds. And that you break every yoke. So fasting is important, according to this scripture, to lose the band of wickedness, to undo the heavy body, to let the oppressed go free, and to break every yoke. All the powerful men of God in the Bible are in the present days are men of fasting. The more fast you engage in, the more powerful you become. I want you to begin to ask yourself, when last did I engage personal fasting or maybe a church fasting or a group fasting and begin to commit yourself accurately? Every time devil has gained anything in the world is through food. From the very first time, humanity was sold out because of what our first father and mother ate. So you have to overcome food in order to become an overcomer. I want you to write it boldly, please. Fasting before power. God bless you.